Hey guys, you got Incog here, back at it again with another Pokemon video, but this one's a little bit different. This one is going to be mostly a discussion type of video. Uh, I want to talk about the games coming out, Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, and even Legends of Arceus at some point. But today we're going to focus on the Gen 4 remakes and four questions that I think are very important that we need to ask about these games. Because moving into this new game, I really want to know just a few things because I don't know if they've been answered already and even if they have are they confirmed so really quickly before we get started if you don't mind leave a like comment subscribe today if you're new check out everything else I have in the description which includes my Twitter my TikTok, and even a link to my discord server regardless though let's go ahead and get started with my questions about brilliant diamond and shining pearl the first question I want to ask that should really be on everybody's mind is are the new items going to be included in these new games? Well, this is a remake of, you know, Diamond and Pearl, obviously. With the items that were introduced into Gen 8, are they going to be back for this game? Items like Heavy Duty Boots, Eject Pack, and other things that I could name off the top of my head are really, really influential items in some regards. Mostly Heavy Duty Boots more than Eject Pack, but you get my point. There's a lot of items that were introduced. There's a lot of things that were introduced, but the items are mostly what I want to talk about. And mostly, as I mentioned, Heavy Duty Boots. Heavy Duty Boots in the Gen 8 metagame have been so influential to a point where you really do find Pokemon that would normally be running leftovers or even choice items or even other items running Heavy Duty Boots just because that chip from Hazards is very, very, very crucial in certain matchups. And with the advent of having Heavy Duty Boots in a Gen 4 based metagame, do we think they're coming back? And if they are, will this influence the metagame even further? Gen 4's metagame definitely had more Hazards than most metagames. And I also think with this game coming out, we do have to consider with Heavy Duty Boots, will certain Pokemon move up tiers or certain Pokemon move down tiers? How will everything change in this regard? But leave a comment down below if you know, or if you think you know, what could possibly happen with Heavy Duty Boots and even the other new items that are introduced via Gen 8. Another question that is on the docket for us and something we noticed from the most recent trailer is there's no timer when you go into the union room and fight another trainer. Does that mean we have the 60 minute timer left or are we going back to the 20 minute timer? This is a really big question I want to ask mostly because I am a person who loves to bring back the timer movement. I'm definitely a part of it. However, it's important to ask because while this game will not be the major game that we'll be playing VGC on, I do think that we'll still be able to use this game for, you know, playing with our friends and just generally functioning as a regular Pokemon game. Just, you know, not being the main subject of VGC. Are we going to get the 60 minute timer back or are we going to be relegated back to the 20 minute timer like we were with Gen 8? Personally, I'm on the side of having the 60 minute timer. I think personally, while it does kind of like encourage certain kind of play, I do think that the 60 minute timer is way better than having 20 minutes because 20 minutes is barely enough time to get anything done. And 60 minutes really does, at least for YouTube purposes, pad out how long a video can be, but also just is a better time than having 20 minutes, I think. So for me and probably from every other PokeJuber, let's bring back the timer. Leave me a comment down below if you think we're getting this back in the Gen 4 remakes. The next question I want to really ask is about the Pokedex because I think a lot of people would like this one answered. And not just, oh, is it going to be the Platinum Dex? Is it going to have a bunch of the Pokemon that we got access to in Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum? No, not just that. If we're going to have access to Pokemon Home mostly for this, can we bring in other Pokemon from different generations and use them in the game? This is a quite an important question because if I can bring Gen 7 or Gen 8 Pokemon realistically over, that would be pretty dope in terms of just metagame wise. But also, if this is a pure Gen 4 remake, I fully expect not to be able to. But it is a question that needs to be asked, of course, because if we can, then why wouldn't this why wouldn't you just make a Gen 9 game? If not, 
then it'll be an interesting metagame for sure. I don't see this as like us shifting over, but if we're able to bring like some Pokemon over from the Gen 8 games in general, that would be pretty dope. But that's one big question I want answered because despite them not really saying much and people more or less speculating saying, oh, we're gonna have these Pokemon in this game because we saw this in the trailer. I'm mostly interested to hear from the Pokemon company in general and just you know face first and even just see it in the game if i have to just because that would probably be best for me but let's move on to the fourth and final question leave a comment down below about this one though because i really do want to hear your responses to it my last question is more of a personal type of question because honestly i think this one is just more towards what I really, really want, but are we gonna have access to just the legendaries that we could have had access to in DPP? Because with the Gen 4 remakes, I feel as though we're probably not going to, but I can always have hope. Because things like the Cresselia event, and the Darkrai event, and the Shaman event, and the Manaphy egg, and, you know, Reggie Gigas will have access to, but how are we gonna get the Regis? And then Arceus, of course, and etc., etc. I could keep going. There's a lot of legendaries that we only got access to by hacking back in the day or by actually getting to the events at stores. Are we gonna have access to those via having to download the event or is it gonna be in the game at first? Or are there gonna be different ways and different things we need to do within the game in order to get access to those events? These are things I really wanna know about because as a person who likes to at least get his Pokedex done per Pokemon game, this is definitely something I find to be very, very important. Because, you know, those Pokemon are, huh, funny enough, a part of the Pokedex. And, you know, having to hack back in the day was not the funnest thing in the world, but, you know, it got the job done for then. But nowadays, I don't really have that kind of interest in having to hack in those mods into the game. So perhaps we'll have events or just items centered around those Pokemon that we did not have previous access to without the need of an action replay. So leave a comment down below if you think we're going to get that and, you know, your opinion if we should get that. With that being said, guys, these are my four questions and really just things I want to know about going into this fine season one month out from the Diamond and Pearl remakes. If you guys have questions and other things you want to predict, leave them in the comments down below. And with that being said, guys, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe today if you're new. Check out all my other socials down below. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys then. Peace.